<coughs> hey, what's up, everybody? Sammy here. Today, we are going to take a quick look at the PMS <coughs> Poco M5S series, not that uh, pre menstrual syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, anyway, the Poco M5S series phones was just released like, you know, some time ago, and this video is definitely behind the schedule. But still, I want, I'd like to do the video for it. And uh, yeah, special thanks to my friend Simi for lending me these two phones. Uh, to be honest, I, I'm still a, a little bit lost, like why the Poco just keep releasing, keep launching such cheap and, I don't know, common, usual, this kind of forms. But maybe there are some special features about it. Without further ado, let's get started. Let's just unbox it. For the M5, it's like the old usual thing. The first layer is this, some paperwork, phone case, and then we have the Poco phone. Then we have the cable and the 22.5 max uh, power charge. All right, that's it. And move to the Poco M5S. The first layer is the phone. So to change that a little bit and move on, we have the same shit. And also we got 33 watts fast charger. That's the what's in the box for these two phones. All right. And then move to these two phones. We put side by side and these are the specs. For the M5, it obviously has the Helio G99. For the M5S, it's like a G95. Uh, so it's a little bit uh, downgraded. Downgraded, we can see that from the Antutu benchmark. Yeah, but not too much, not too much a big difference. For the M5, it has the 50 megapixel triple camera. And for the M5S, it has 64 megapixel AI quad camera. And for my experience, the M5S has a much better camera performance. We're we'll talking about that later. And then the M5, 90 hertz FHD plus dynamic switch display. Uh, for the M5S, it didn't mention. So it probably doesn't have the 90 hertz. <laughs> I don't know. And both have gigantic 5,000 milliamp battery. And that is just great. To be honest, the first time I thought that M5, oh shit. You see the, this leather back versus this uh, kind of glossy, but you know, easy to get the fingerprints. So I thought, oh, holy smoke, this M5 must be more expensive. And you know, it feels so good and makes you look so rich, right? But actually the M5 is like $20 cheaper. What kind of phones that will have that kind of uh, good leather finish? except this uh, high-end phones. This is the Oppo Find X3 Pro, and this feels good, and this feels good as well, right? So on the top for the Poco M5, is uh, we have a, a headphone jack. We have the infrared blaster. On the M5S, they have Dino's Mac here, infrared blaster, and also the speaker there. Well, to this side, they're the same. Ooh, so that's for the Poco M5, dual card, dual standby, and SD card expansion uh, supported, that's obviously. And then for the M5S, the Samsung card type, we can see the Type-C charging cable speaker on Dino's Mac. Also, for the M5S, they move that headphone jack to the bottom here. Right on this side, we have the volume rocker and the power key, that's also the fingerprint scanner. This is the back. Uh, for the specific camera specs, I will just put on the screen. Obviously, if we adjust like to the highest, I personally feel the 5S is much, much more brighter. They're both uh, smooth, not bad. And lastly is the camera performance. You see for the M5, it doesn't even have that arch wide or or two times zoom or something, it does, just doesn't have. It's one main camera. It's like too old for, right? And I also uh, checked the pictures. I will just put side by side. And I think for the M5S, it's just much, much better. You know, whether the dynamic range or the color saturation, uh, stabilization, this kind of thing. We'll just put on the screen, all right? Now, let me just 
put my suggestion here. I mean, if you don't care about the camera, I mean, if you really want to get the, a good hand feel, a good comfortable uh, phone, then go to the Poco M5. Feels really premium. And when you pull off this phone in front of the cloud, wow, you're rich, right? <laughs> Looks rich, high premium. But if you want a better camera performance, then go get the M5S. I mean, the camera performance, from my experience, the M5S is just way better. But for other specs, the M5S just falls short to the M5, like the 90 hertz refresh rate and the performance, like the hardware performance. Both phones are not bad, it just depends on which one you need, which one fits you. And that's uh, today's video. Pogo M5, M5S, all right? I'm Sammy, I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.